Hi, I'm Jim Al-Khalili and uh, here's my question for you, Professor Gross. Do you think that we are any closer to really reconciling the forces of nature? Do you, what, is, what is your view on string theory and whether one day we will have a theory of everything? Hi, Jim. So your question is, will we ever have a theory of everything? Um, I don't know. I'm agnostic on the subject. Usually the way that question is asked presumes that we know what everything is, what are all the questions we would like to answer. Um, and the history of science tends to teach us that once we think, once we have achieved um, the answer to all the questions we can ask in a given area, such as the fundamental laws of physics, for example, New questions arise that we didn't know how to ask before. We didn't know enough to ask those questions. And although we have achieved a theory of everything we knew how to ask about way back then, uh, now we have new questions which, whose answers we don't know. So um, I think at the present, uh, the questions we ask are, are quite profound and deep, and they seem to include all possible questions we could ask about elementary particles and forces and the fundamental laws of physics. But most likely, if, a, if a, uh, an attempt such as that of string theory uh, were ever to succeed, and it might very well, uh, in answering all the questions we can pose today, most likely we, we will not have achieved a theory of everything. We will have simply achieved a theory of all the questions we knew how to ask. And at that time we will realize that there are new questions that uh, at the moment we don't know enough to ask uh, that will still be open. Conceivably, at some point, uh, we'll start running out of new questions to ask. and. Uh, in that case, uh, there might very well be a final theory of everything, but at the moment, um, there's not much evidence that we're close to that point.